What's up guys, my name is Josh and welcome to another review. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about a mass drop noble collaboration, the Kaiser 10. 10 standing for 10 drivers per year. So I wanna get this out of the way while it's still relevant to the people who may be looking for it because it is only on sale for today. It was on sale for this entire week. If you missed my drop sales video, uh, you would have seen it. But if you haven't, this is actually on sale today. It's gonna be the last day. It's on sale from $900 to $700. And that price point, is uh, what I would normally discuss in the conclusion, but I think I wanna tackle it now. My overall conclusion for this headphone is I like this headphone a lot. I don't love it. Uh, at the around $1,000 price tag, you're dealing with a lot of really good earbuds. You're dealing with the likes of Campfire, Shure, Empire, Audio 46, you name it. You're dealing with a lot of high-end, high-priced earbuds like this Zeus here, and this is also a mass drop collaboration. I waited as long as I could with this review, and the reason why I waited as long as I could with this review is I wanted to get it out before the sale ended, but I really wanted to make sure that I gave it a fair shot. Like, you know, make sure that I was assessing it fairly. And what I ended up finding myself looking for with this headphone was the thing, right? I'm looking for the thing that it does really, really, really well. And with a lot of headphones, I never find that. Uh, and with some headphones, I it, it pops off right away, right? I never found the thing that I love this headphone for. With the Zeus, it's like basically anything that is like a master level recording is just going to sound awesome on the Zeus. And this is the same thing with the, the, the Noble 10. Uh, it, it sounds awesome. And there's over a thousand purchases on this guy and a lot of positive reviews. It's almost got five stars, I think. And they're not wrong. It's a great headphone. It's a kind of a safe headphone. It, it checks all of the boxes that one would look at to check. But for me, it just didn't do anything that blew me away. Now that being said, there's also nothing that I don't like about this earbud. I think this is an extremely solid earbud top to bottom. And that will kind of intro us into the beginning of the review, talking about the build quality and what you get in the box. We'll put this Zeus aside until we talk a little bit later. So in the box, you get the earbuds, obviously. One cable braided and this actual Pelican branded carry case. Inside of it, you got a cleaning pick, a velvet bag, and uh, a bunch of ear tips. And that's it. Now I had the same complaint with the Zeus over there. It does use a standard two pin, and that is easily replaceable and cheaply replaceable on Amazon if you do happen to break or lose yours. Uh, but I feel like an extra cable, perhaps of you know either solid rubber or a different braid or a different color or something, just goes that little bit extra mile to make the purchaser feel like they got a little bit more for what they purchased, especially with such a large asking price. The actual earbuds themselves are split into two segments, one red shell and one black shell that goes into the, kind of the ear canal area. And both of these are metal and uh, they're kind of machined to have this texture on them and I find the machining and the actual quality of the bud fantastic. If you actually look at the tips, there are three holes on the tips. Now, as far as build and fit and finish, that's pretty much it. It is a nice carry case, but it's not quite as compact as the Zeus case is. Although I definitely feel more secure dropping them, not that I would advise it, but I would feel better dropping them in the Pelican case than this proprietary Zeus case. But either way, uh, decent carry case nonetheless. Now a little bit more on these tips here. Uh, they do provide a lot of different types of tips, like they provide a lot of different sizes and they have foam and silicone. Uh, but I actually didn't really find the foam to be all that good. And I actually reached out to Dakoni for a different project, which we'll talk about next week. Wink, wink, pretty fun. Uh, you should definitely check it out next week. Um, and uh, they sent over some of their tips uh, for this and I've been using their foam tips. So shout out to Dakoni for sending those out because they're a lot more comfortable and a little bit higher quality for foam than the actual uh, tips that uh, Noble provides. Uh, although Noble's silicone tips, uh, which are like color coordinated, are pretty nice. I do like these a lot for the silicone. Okay, so when it comes to sound, and yes, I've tried a variety of different tips from different brands, so you can leave that one out. This, again, is one of those headphones where if you check all the boxes, everything's there. You know, vocal separation, imaging, sound staging, bass, treble, it all, is really, really nice. And that's what you get. You kind of get a jack of all trades, master of none situation with this IEM. And that may be exactly what you're looking for. You know, something that's able to play both classical and hard rock and electronic and jazz all in the same day and have a really fun, good experience with all of them. Now, when it comes to what the actual sound reproduction looks like, it's actually slightly V-shaped. Um, not a massive V-shape, uh, but it is slightly V-shaped. There's a lot of bass, a decent amount of mids, and uh, not as much trouble as there is bass, so it's kind of a darker tilt, 
but that mid-range is slightly lower than what I would consider the general treble response to be. Uh, now, in comparison to the Zeus, the Zeus is basically mid-range and treble forward, and then it's got a little bit of a blip down in the real low sub-bass region where that, that region is brought up a little bit. And I guess I'll start with the bass response here. It's a lot of bass. Uh, if you like bass, you will be satisfied, especially if you have a lot of bassy music. This plays bass really well. It's different though than the Zeus. And I'm only bringing up the Zeus so much here, one, because it's another mass drop pr product of around the similar price. And two, because it's one of the only earbuds here that I have that are of similar price that I can test between the two. So that's the reference point we got. Uh, the Zeus, as you get lower and lower in frequency, you know, below like, 60 hertz as you get lower and lower towards 20 it seems to actually perform better and better the lower the, the music goes whereas this has pretty solid overall performance for bass response i feel like the zeus hits harder lower but this hits harder in kind of the upper regions of sub bass and the the mid bass or upper bass regions you know anywhere between you know 100 to 300 hertz the uh, noble is more forward there now speaking of that mid bass it is teetering not quite over the line, but it's teetering on a little bit of uh, of actual bloat, just teetering there. It's not quite bloated, it's not quite boxy, but it's getting quite, you know, it's getting quite close to that level. Although I'm not gonna consider it enough to like knock any points off or anything like that. It's just something that, you know, if you get the right song, you're like, oh, okay, there's, there's a lot of bass right there. And uh, you can definitely hear it. Okay, so mid-range. Um, Mid-range is actually pretty good. It's really well controlled from the bottom end of vocals all the way to the top end, uh, including the S and T ranges of vocals. Uh, those are really well controlled and it does spike up a little bit in trouble afterwards, not like, you know, super bright spikes, just like, you know, it kicks up a little bit after the S range a little bit. Uh, but the S range is very well mannered and it doesn't really come across as offensive. It is quite detailed as well. So you've got that nice level of detail and uh, not being too offensive there. And this is actually something that I like more on the Noble than I do the Zeus. Now, when it comes to actual separation, I think the Zeus does separation better, but the Noble separation is pretty good for the price, but I don't know if I would necessarily say it's like class leading or anything like that. But if you're looking for separation, you will get it in this headphone. It's just, it's not the pinnacle performance for the price range. And I think this is one of the areas where I think if they had adjusted it just a little bit, it would have been a lot more pleasing for me personally. And that would just be to give it a little bit of a mid-range boost, just a tiny bit, where vocals hit just a little bit harder and they were a little bit more forward and a little bit more focused than they are. And again, they're really focused and they're really good. I just would have preferred a little bit more here and I think that would have put me over the edge for this headphone. I would have been like, okay, yeah, this is a great headphone because of this factor, uh, but they didn't. So you end up with this these vocals that, again, sound great, uh, but I know that they can sound better for the price. Now, treble is also pretty good um, and I think this will be a defining difference between somebody who would appreciate the Zeus and somebody who's going to appreciate this. Uh, and I would kind of equate this to the difference between the Focal Alex, which would be kind of on the, the Zeus side, uh, and the LCD 2C, where the treble is a little bit, you know, rolled off. It doesn't have the most amount of treble, especially when you're talking about upper treble or air or the presence air frequencies, where you've got kind of a lot of little crispy details in there. The Noble doesn't quite have that, but it provides a very detailed, but pleasing, more importantly, sound quality to the treble response. It's just very enjoyable to listen to. It's it's detailed and you don't feel like it's lacking, but you kind of get the sense of like, it's a little bit more chilled out there. Whereas the Zeus is like analytical all the time, doesn't care what you want, it's going to give you the information regardless of whether or not you're asking for it. The Noble you have to hunt for a little bit um, and it can provide that information to you if you look for it, but overall it's gonna kind of glide over that range and be pretty easy going. And just depending on what you like from your IEMs, like what I personally like from my IEMs is actually different than what I like from my headphones. Just the same as what I like from my speakers is a little bit different than what I like from my headphones and my IEMs. So if you're considering either of these, I would say if you're really trouble sensitive, just stay away from the Zeus. You're not gonna have a good time. I could see just about everybody being able to stand the uh, trouble forwardness of the Noble without too many issues. Similar with the LCD 2C full-size headphone 
whereas it's just a pleasing, enjoyable headphone to listen to. Imaging in the soundstage, and you would expect this for the money, so I'm, I'm just gonna describe it, and it's gonna sound really complimentary, and it is, but it's expected at this price range, I think. Uh, soundstage is like completely circular. I was actually using these for um, some gaming, and because I just happened to be listening to music, and then I played some games, and I am surprised at how good the imaging and the soundstage are in terms of like a total wraparound being able to tell exactly where things are at all times. Um, I thought uh, before I had done that, I thought that the imaging and soundstage was going to be a little bit weaker um, just because of the trouble response. Normally you'll see really good imaging and soundstage when the trouble response is also boosted. Uh, this is a kind of a rare exception to that rule um, in, in total headphones but kind of has become the standard or the expectation at about $1,000. You would kind of expect an IEM or a headphone to be really good at that at this price range. And I guess this leads me into the second conclusion for today. Um, there's nothing that I find this headphone lacking in. Um, it does everything well or good or something's even great. Uh, I just don't really love it. I don't know why. Uh, I can't explain it. It's just my personal opinion here. But it provides an overall pleasing, non-offensive sound signature. It's safe with literally every single genre of music, and it makes it sound awesome on everything. Um, and this includes kind of really low quality stuff. This can actually make low quality stuff, you know, sound a little bit better uh, than it would on a super analytical headphone like the Zeus. So, uh, does this get my recommendation? Um, I'd say it's like a safe recommendation, right? Like if you want to get something and you're like afraid that it's not going to be your cup of tea, I would easily recommend this to anybody, no matter what their sound preferences are. You know, it's kind of, again, it's, it's right in the middle of everything. If somebody gave me more information on what they like, I think I'd point to other options that are perhaps higher in specialty, um, you know, or like, uh, you know, they can do what that person likes a little bit better than what this can. But if you're just looking for an overall general headphone that just happens to cost $900, then I guess this is kind of getting my recommendation. And this is where we'll talk about the sale for a little bit here. So $200 off, $700. Um, I don't love it for $900, I really don't. Uh, I don't even love it for 700. I like it a lot more for 700 than I do for 900. But I think the same recommendation at $900 is still gonna stand for 700. I think you're still dealing with a competitive price point at that price or a competitive uh, market at that price point. And even at that price point, I don't find this to do anything spectacularly that I would look for. So again, yes, it's recommended, um, but it's not getting kind of really high regards at the price. Uh, so I think that's gonna wrap it up, guys. I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank Drop for sending these out for a review and holding the sale so that you guys can get your uh, hands on some really great gear at lower prices. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. I will catch you guys on Monday. And I uh, should have uh, the SVS Ultra Towers first impressions coming in on that day. And then later that week, I have some really fun videos planned, uh, like really cool stuff. So definitely look forward to that. I don't want to spoil anything though yet. When, when you see it come out, you'll see it. Okay, my name is Josh, signing off.